What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Vader 2 tier aluminum monitor stand with wireless charging and hub. Now this item is featured on a playlist called Lit, Life Improving Technology. That's because it actually raises all your equipment to eye level to hopefully improve posture. This item also helps with organization. We've got a middle shelf and a top shelf, and that allows us to stack items vertically, which increases our retail space on this desk. So if we like, we can do some writing here, we can place some more items here, or we can have a snack. Now you can find this item at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. As always, I only feature products that I buy, use, or I'm interested in. This means the content is not sponsored, so if you could like, share, or subscribe, that would be a free way to support us. Don't have time to watch the whole video? We're now a podcast you can find on multiple platforms by searching for Pixels Crack. And if you are listening to this on a podcast, you can find the more detailed video and YouTube channel by searching for Pixels Crack as well. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. The Vader 2 tier aluminum stand comes in at about $110. The stand comes unassembled, but I assembled it here. Parts include an aluminum top and middle shelf and plastic left and right sides. Assembly of this unit is simple and takes about 10 minutes to complete. The sides slide into the top shelf and the middle shelf drops in between the sides and is secure via included screws and Allen wrench. Once assembled, the stand looks nice but does attract fingerprints. A manual explains the assembly and operation of the stand. The rest of the kit includes a 36 watt power adapter, USB 3.0 data transmission cable, and cable management hardware as a gift. An additional bracket is also included in the kit, but doesn't appear to be listed in the instructions. It looks like it may mount to the back of the stand to serve as a cable management device. The 36 watt power adapter plugs into the module underneath the top shelf. The right side of the stand features an LED, which doesn't get all too bright, but there are four USB ports. A USB-C port can also be found for the USB 3.0 cable on the inside of the shelf that features the USB hub. The top shelf features Vader Brandon. A built-in wireless charging pad with faux leather accent can be found on the opposite end of the top shelf. So let's talk performance. All items are organized and stacked neatly on the shelf. So as you can see, this shelf holds a lot of items, which is why we're going to go over everything so you can get an idea of just how much it holds. So on the far right here, we have my Pixel 5. Then we've got the Vertex Illuminated Headphone Stand. Then we got the Skull Candy Crusher Evos. Then we've got a new Lexi laptop stand with the Google Pixel Book Go on top of that. I've got a cyberpunk theme Xbox controller here in a white silicone skin. Then we've got the Lamical stand here. It holds a phone. No phones on there right now, but we got the Fossil Gen 5e Wear OS smartwatch. Then we've got a Rapid X wireless charger, and we've got the Google Pixel Buds 2 on there. And then we've got a Pop action figure. We got my boy Takeshi Kovach from Altered Carbon, one of my favorite sci fi shows. Unfortunately, that was discontinued. Now, moving on to the shelf underneath, not a whole lot going on. I didn't put too much here, but we do have a Bellroy sleeve, and in the Bellroy sleeve, we have a Google Pixel Book. And then on the bottom here, we can stash more items. We can hide those away so that we have more retail space here. And we've just got some little trinkets here on the left and the right. And then I've got a Logitech wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Now, a lot of these items that you see here, we did do unboxings and reviews of them. So you can find them on the channel if you're interested. Next, we have the wireless charging pad, which has a faux leather accent to it, but it's actually hard to the touch. It does look nice and it works really well. Now the Pixel 5 fits into the designated area nicely and alignment to the charge coil requires little effort. Now for this setup, I wanted remote control via the Google Assistant, which is why I paired this stand with a TP-Link HS105 smart plug. Now the HS105 allows us to customize our setup name, so I've conveniently named this workstation. Now this allows us to save energy and promotes a futuristic lifestyle. Okay, Google. Turn off the workstation. All right, turning off workstation. Turn on the workstation. Sure, turning workstation on. 
Next we have the hub which features four ports. The ports have varying outputs. Starting from the far left, the first port is five volts or one amp. The two middle ports are five volts or 2.4 amps. And then the port to the far right is five volts or 2.1 amps. Now I have several devices plugged into these which include a lamp for a plant, the Vertex illuminated headphone stand, a Fossil Gen 5e smartwatch charger, and RapidX wireless RGB charger. Function appears normal with all devices running along with the Pixel 5 on the charging pad. I'll give updates in the description if anything changes over time. So final thoughts, this stand has a nice appearance to it and good functionality due to its hub and wireless charging pad. It also provides adequate space for items to improve organization and it elevates our items such as our laptop to improve posture. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel and podcast. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way you can support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support us is just by clicking the subscribe or follow button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the podcast. Liking and subscribing are also important to new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out. Yeah. <laughs>